Hello everybody, Joe Baydones here, and welcome back to another episode of Tsukihime Remake, where last time we left off, uh, didn't, didn't really get a whole lot done, to be perfectly honest. We just kind of ran around and got a couple bad ends, and proceeded on to the next day, you know, the last of two, you know, we're, I mean, I don't want to say it doesn't feel like it, because, you know, we've been going at it for a while, but, you know, Ark's route is almost over. It's crazy to think. Only, only two more days. Wow, arc routes end in two days. Uh, I'm pretty sure that there's no good and true end anymore. They just consolidated it into a single, single end, which I guess would be true end, if I had to guess, because that's like the best one. Let's be honest here. And I can, I can, I can see him just going down that route, but it's been like a week. Ugh. Not of my own choice. Uh, I misremembered when uh, I was flying out, so I did leave. I did leave Florida on Friday. However, uh, I didn't get home until like three thirty a.m. on Saturday, and then I proceeded to sleep the whole day. And I was in no condition to record Saturday when I woke up because I was fighting, fighting something. I guarantee it was the. $17 burrito from like Southwest Moe's or whatever that I got in the Atlanta airport was tearing me up inside because oh boy even even when I got on the flight I'm like man I'm kind of kind of like fucking nauseous but I was able to fight it back because I know it's not the flying I fly way choppier uncomfortable flights all the fucking time because of my job so it's not like, oh, I'm not used to doing this, so I'm getting car sick or ear sick or something. It's, that was smooth flying, especially because I splurged the extra couple hundred bucks to get first class. Which, in hindsight, I don't want to call it a waste of money, but if they were direct flights, it would have been worth it. But each one was only like an hour and a half, two hours, because I had to go to my connectors in like Atlanta, and then from there down to Orlando. So... It uh didn't didn't really get to enjoy the perks for that long, but they were they were nice. Uh, the big the big wide seats were good. One of my flights I did have did have to fly economy, uh, just because the website was being weird and wouldn't let me select seats for uh, for that uh, leg of the trip. So I just had to slum it, and of course I was in the middle seat. But fortunately, it was the seat all the way in the back. So I could didn't have to worry about some dumb kids kicking my chair or anything. And I just it just played blackjack and poker on the in-flight entertainment screen the entire time. Uh didn't didn't really win anything. I managed to stay even the entire time. And of course this is all just with play money and points, so it didn't really matter to anything, but it was it was a good way to keep me busy, you know. Just distracted. And uh yeah. Oh boy, Disney Disney sucks. I, I fucking hate it. Like, sure, I had a good time when I was on the rides, but everything in between is... Oh, it's awful. Nothing but screaming kids, fucking hacking, coughs, you know, uh, kids I'm with getting hurt feelings because they're fucking three to nine. You know, it's like, oh, I didn't get my handful of popcorn wasn't as big as him. Clearly, I'm not the favorite because I'm adopted. And it's like, what what are you talking about? It's because you have smaller fucking hands and you grabbed a smaller batch of popcorn. It's it, it's it's stuff like that where it's like I you are not my kids. I do not care about this. Well, I, I do. I, I don't want to make it sound like that, but it's it's like this is this is not my problem. And of course. To make it even more frustrating. As much as I love my sister, I gotta say she has some serious <laughs> parenting flaws uh, that result in kind of kind of bratty, annoying kids. You know, they're they're good they're good sometimes, but oh man, they sure got a side to them. Which, if if I ever came out when I was a kid, I would have my mouth fucking slapped off my face. And if it was at my grandparents' house, I would be sent into the other fucking room through the air. My God. So being the the childish uh, childless uh, older 
uh, God, not even old. Am I older now? Fuck, I don't even know. Uh, you know, more mature guy there at the park. I'm like, I, I am not acclimated to this. I got to get the fuck out of here. Uh, where's the nearest place selling $11, $12 beer? I don't care. I need it. Uh, so that's mainly what I tried to do when the, the kids were like, all right, you're all you know, going, to, going to get popcorn. All right. You know, the uncle's going to go get a drink because I'm thirsty. Oh, man, all this walking around. And that's what makes Magic Kingdom the worst because they don't sell alcohol there. The, the worst fucking park. Uh, and yeah, uh, I honestly think Magic Kingdom might just be the worst too because the rides are kind of boring. They're, they're a lot more kid oriented. Uh, so even when you do go on, like stuff, stuff like Space Mountain's fun, you know. I didn't get to go on the Tron roller coaster because we uh, were, we were too late in in the day. You know, we got off Space Mountain right at closing, so the, they had already closed the the onboarding line for the for the Tron roller coaster over at fucking Tomorrowland or whatever it is. So we missed that, and yeah. Animal Kingdom, though, we walked over 10 miles that day, just going back and forth, back and forth, getting all those fucking Wilderness Explorer badges. Ugh. And my feet were killing me, because in my sneakers, I wear my hard plastic orthotic inserts to help right my, like, the angle of my ankles, because of my flat feet. Because it's either, one, I walk around all day, and it's like, my shins and my ankles hurt from, you know, being mis misaligned, or I wear the orthotics, and now my feet hurt, because I'm walking around on hard plastic the entire day. That's like digging into the wedge uh, or the arc of my foot, you know, to, to get it to go in that good shape. And it's like this. Like, man, my, my fucking dogs are barking. It, it, it hurt. But I'm, a, I'm, you know, a tough, tough, strong boy at the happiest place on earth. So I can't let the pain show. So I just powered on through. And now that I'm back, I need, I feel like I need another vacation for my vacation. But it's just right on back to work. No rest for the wicked. And, oh, no rest from recording. Except for yesterday, but I have the excuse that I wasn't feeling well. I'm, I'm just glad I didn't get sick this time. Every time I've gone home for Christmas, immediately I'm sick with something. Because there's six kids running around, coughing, sneezing, not washing their hands, touching doorknobs, touching every single handle remote chair in the entire building and there's no escape there's just nothing you can do you just have to accept your fate but it was nice seeing my parents again uh probably for the the first and last time this year unless i decide to go home for christmas which eh, who knows if i will it's always a coin flip whether one i can even get those days off and then two if i even want to make the trip up because it's it's a long drive. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fly up. It's it'd be a short flight, but either I pay the three hundred dollar round trip fly economy, you know, into Boston or something, and take the bus back home. Because fortunately, the one of one of the buses out of the uh, the airport terminal goes right pretty much ten minutes away from my house, so they're able to just pick me up from there. Or I can just do the six hour drive myself, which. And honestly, I prefer. It's cheaper gas-wise, and I've done the trip so many times now that uh, it's. I actually find driving long distances very therapeutic. It's it's something I developed from living out west, where it's like, okay, uh, long weekend, let me drive to Seattle. It's a four and a half hour trip out, or oh, I want to go to Boise or something. Like, all right, drive for six hours through empty nothingness. Just get on the highway and turn on cruise control, put on some podcasts. My brain's just wired in the way where I can just shut it off and go full autopilot and it'd be perfectly happy and comfortable with it. You know, just swinging to grab monsters or something or rest stops whenever I need to go to the bathroom. <sighs> but that's neither here nor there. That's that's for my seasonal planning later. Okay. We've rambled on long enough. Let's let's get the show on the road, yeah. I got my cup of coffee the last little bit in the pot so I'll be I'll be uh you know really uh thugging it out for this next hour and a half two hours when I'm recording or whenever there's a good you know break for uh for the episode to stop because I, I don't see myself going all the way to the end because there's there's a lot 
I remember from the original, there's stuff that happens from here to the end. And uh, it's, it's a little much to cram into one episode. So I expect within the week for Arkwood's route to be done. Ballparking. Don't, don't hold me to that. I'm just doing a rough estimate from the hip. All right, we hit our 10 minutes. Time to time to get the ball on the road. Or the ball rolling. Car on the ball rolling. What? It's morning. Hello. I feel my feel for my glasses and put them on before I open my eyes. Ooh, that's a really nice like nightstand. I like the uh the carving on the front. The sky outside the window is a beautiful gentle blue. But no amount of sun could brighten my mood. The reason for my misery is obvious. I can't shake the image of her moonlit profile as she apologized to me. It'll be better for both of us. What'd she mean by that? Was she asking me to forget what I did to her in the alley? Or did she want me to forget all about her? Either way, that's not going to happen. There's no way I could forget even a moment of our time together. I stared down at my hands. My fingers still recall the feel of her body. Yeah, you got you got a little, a little freaky there, you know, throwing some tongue action into the mix. The smoothness of her skin. The way she felt cool to the touch, yet warm at the same time. Now all I've got are regrets. If she decided to kill me back then, I wouldn't have begrudged her one bit. Uh, she was kind of into it. But despite my guilt, a selfish thought rears its head. Why couldn't I have been more control over myself? When my fingers coursed across her body, I was little more than an animal. Had I possessed more of my senses, had I been more human, I could have been, or it could have been. <laughs> I bite back my self-indulgent fantasies. Her gold eyes aren't what made me lose it was it that I started to feel this way? Without realizing it, without knowing why, I've fallen for her. I mean, <laughs> without knowing why, look at her, dude. I felt this way for, a, for so long now. Maybe even from the moment she said she'd forgiven me for the things I did to her. It was never about Roa to begin with. I've been crazy about Arcuit since day one. Well, yeah, so crazy you killed her. But now... Probably for the best if we don't meet again. I can't stop thinking on how lonely her smile felt back then. It's too late. If I'd noticed sooner, I never would have made her feel that way. Well, no uh, use beating yourself up over it. You know, just... uh. You think about that uh, when you're getting the next one on the rebound. The morning plays out as usual. Yasui comes to wake me up. I find Aki and Kohaku in the parlor. We exchange pleasantries before I head to school. The same mundane routine. This peace and quiet was what we put our lives on the line for. I should be happy. I didn't lose anything. And I feel empty. Like a machine blankly following its pre-programmed commands, I perform my morning regimen before leaving for school. The students near the gate look cheerful. As I pick up bits of conversation here and there, I realize everyone's chatting about their weekend plans. Woo! Friday! I was so caught up in Hurricane Arcuit that I completely lost track of what day it is. Eh, yeah, well, you see, uh, in Japan, it would be a monsoon because hurricanes only form in the uh, Atlantic Ocean. And, uh, mons and uh, I'm pretty sure monsoons only form in the uh, Pacific. I think that's the only differentiation between the two. Like, they are both tropical storms that reach a certain size, but... It's it's literally just whichever ocean they're in determines whether it's a hurricane or a monsoon. And I want to say 
depending on what side of the equator you are, determines which way they spin. And they don't cross the equator. Like, no no storm has ever done that. I don't, I don't know why. They, they just don't. We first met on a Friday morning, too. Yeah, dude, it was like a week ago. This is day 11? And you didn't even run into her until, like, day 2 or 3. So you've, you've literally only known her for a week. She was right here, waiting for me by the crossing. From that very first day, she always had a smile on her face. Even as she was laying in ambush for a murderer, not once did she lose the mischievous glint in her eyes. But the chance to ask her has come and gone. There's no way to find her waiting for me in the park again. I take my seat. There's five more minutes until homeroom. With nothing else to do, I idly look over the schoolyard from the window. Uh, it's on a medical sabbatical. I heave a long, drawn-out sigh. Normally, I'd exchange barbs with him, but I just don't have the energy for it today. Yeah, only showing up for a Friday? Like, you might as well just stay at home. Arahiko slumps his shoulders in an exaggerated motion. いや、むしろ俺がいない方がラッキーなんじゃないか。Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. I was about to say, you know, what are you talking about? You know CL got booted from the country, but no, he doesn't. He he never made the connection that CL's in the church yet. My sentence stopped short. Who who was I talking about again? Neither one of us knows any third years. I mean, you're bound to know a couple, right? Like, you, you go in the same schools, so you gotta at least know someone from, I don't know, the year above you from middle school? Well, neither of you are in a club, so I guess that really limits your exposure. Arahiko slips out of the classroom's back door. Just as he leaves, the door at the front of the room, uh, at the front, opens to let him miss Noel, or not. Turns out to be the homeroom teacher the ne of the class next door. Yeah, need your morning coffee, dude? That's Yep. Said you were uh, the worst class she's ever had the misfortune of teaching. Made her quit. The laid-back math teacher explains the situation in an apathetic tone. Well, she was only ever a substitute to begin with. I mean, yeah. Oh, God. Wails of despair erupt from Miss Noel's dedicated male fan club. Finally clicks in my head. In this place so far removed from everything, something as trivial as a teacher quitting forces me to face reality. It's really over. Miss Noel was only ever a substitute teacher to observe me, or rather, the person she believed to be the vampire Roa. If she's gone, it means her work here is done. I'm now completely free from the whole vampire ordeal. Well, it, she might also just, you know, I, I guess she wouldn't have quit, but she's uh, re really, really feeling that delayed uh, onset muscle soreness uh, after her bout with Arcuid. So she's, she's probably bedridden at home, just 
squirming in pain, chugging Tylenol. I'm not completely free from the whole vampire ordeal. Not a single thread connects me to it any longer. Hooray! You got back your normal life! Woo! You can all throw it together in like a short story in the future and uh, win some uh, light novel award. Classes end for the day. With tomorrow being Saturday, the students scurry off like an army of arachnids the second the final bell rings. Ew, why do you choose spiders? I fulfilled all my scholar scholarly obligations for today. The rest of the day is time I can dedicate to myself. So I'll... Do nothing. I'll just... What should I be doing? I'm like a kite cut loose from its strings. Gone is my obligation to protect this place. Gone is our mission to rid the city of vampires. I'm bereft of the one driving force that guided me for the past week. Who cares anymore? Might as well take a nap here. It will uh, be a perfectly sensible thing for an ordinary person to do. She's gone. Miss Noelle's gone too. Maybe... I'd gotten myself in too deep with this vampire business. The executor said that for humans, there's no such thing as a good vampire. Can I really still believe she's good after seeing her like that? Be smarter to go home while you still can. This might be your last chance to pretend you were never involved in any of this. The blonde-headed kid's warnings resonate in my mind. Yeah, Shiki, look on the bright side. You can finally say goodbye to this vampire crap and go back to living a normal life. I'll... Pretend that none of this had ever happened. Look upon reality in the end. Hmm. Like, obviously, it, it's it's number two. I, I know that without even having to, yeah, confirm with the guy, yeah, it's number two. But, you know, it's... I'm going to assume number one is like, well, you know, oh, you choose in. He's like, oh, I can't even, I can't even follow through in my heart. I know, I know that I must fight, fight Roa and win Arkwood's affection back. And then, you know, number two is... I guess the vampires are still out there. I can still do something about it. So even even if I have to go alone, I'll I'll do it anyway. Or, you know, just the the emotional conflict, the inner turmoil when you know you fuck something up with someone. And it's like, oh, I really got to go apologize. And you just have their the, the, the text chat open with them. And you're like, fuck, I know I got to I got to do something. But it's it's really hard to get the ball rolling on this. And it's like, do I, I I could just, you know, let this bridge burn and just pretend like, well, nothing we can do about that now. You know, move on ahead. Just just don't look back. Don't think about it. It's too it's too hard. It hurts your head and your heart. But, you know, the, the right and the hard thing to do is face it head on. And even even if you don't get the outcome you want, at least there's closure there. I can't see her again. How could I after what I did? But even so, I'm determined to fulfill my promise to her one last time. If I have the chance to come face to face with the things I couldn't do, I have to take it. And perhaps once I do that, I'll be able to put these emotions to rest. Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, a younger, more inexperienced me might have chosen the first option, but now that I'm, I'm older and I know know kind of the consequences of of the first one, it's like, hey, even if this really sucks and I hate doing it the whole time, it's 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 better to to rip that bandaid off and uh, just deal with the outcome. I stand in front of the disaster ruins. Six days have passed since the fire. The area is now completely silent. 
The ruins are little more than a cruel reminder of the tragedy that took place. Not a trace remains of the once popular park in front of the station. Oh, this place used to be so full of life. But with people unknown to me, with whom I have never crossed paths. I never knew them, yet I can't just let it go. Yet I can just let go, as I never knew them. It would be easy enough to absolve myself of any guilt, especially when I had no hand in this. If ignorance is a sin, then all humans are sinners. If insecurity is a sin, then all of humanity is damned. So why should I hang my head here? I can't let myself lament the deaths of strangers. Warning the dead on my own arbitrary feelings of sadness is just wrong. Instead, farewells ought to be used to reflect on our time with them. The tears we shed should honor their memory as well as their deeds. Tears or apologies born out of sorrow are nothing more than rituals to perform for our own selfish ends. Ugh, I thought I was safe. I was, thought I was safe from the big siren going off outside because it just, just went off before I started recording. But nope. Fucking 30 minutes later, it's back, back to doing its thing again. Right in this nice, solemn, quiet moment of self-reflection, it's like, all right, let's let you know that the fire department's going out because some old person farted their butthole out and they need to roll back in like a sock. Which, that's... Those aren't just things I pulled out of nowhere. One of the guys I used to work with is a volunteer firefighter and more calls than he would like were just for that. Apparently, the, the thing you do for it, for the pink sock, is you sprinkle granulated sugar on it. Uh, for some reason. I guess to try it out so you can get a grip on it and then you just you no know, you just roll it right back in just boop and then you I don't know they sit on an ice pack or something and I actually don't know where you go from there other than granulated sugar and gloves don't forget the gloves please don't forget the gloves that should mean I can just turn back and put this all behind me or so I thought Bakaka what if Despite everything, I can't seem to pull myself away. I shouldn't feel this sadness. I shouldn't feel this self-righteousness. At the end of the day, I should just be looking out for myself. And yet, I keep coming to the same conclusion. You can't just call it quits after you've lost it all. Once you've done everything you can, you should let the curtain fall with your head held high. It feels like... Stranger taught me that once upon a time. But steps echo behind me. I look over to see her. Oh, you haven't left yet. A girl wearing her school uniform. I don't recognize her face. And while I feel like I should know her, I can't even recall her name. Konnichiwa. Nah, I came to brood. Yeah. Her eyes are locked in the area in front of the barricade. The place is covered in bouquets. They rustle in unison, as if in remembrance of the dearly departed. Yeah, but then uh, finding the other half, and then even if you do have it, putting them together, that's that's the hard part. There's no way I can turn my back on these vampires. I can't forget about Roa. I definitely can't forget about her. Mm-hmm. Sticking your nose in where it don't belong. She never once looks at me. Nor do I look at her. Seems the plaything to do for someone who came all this way to offer a warning to a stranger. Yeah, no sense being surprised at this point in the game with strangers coming out talking about things they shouldn't know. Yeah, 
もうこれ以上あってはいけませんそれはどうして一度でも吸血衝動に負けた真相はもう手遅れだからです血を吸いたいという欲求は真相にだってあるいえそもそも人間の血を吸いたいという欲求は真相から人間に移されたもの死とは所詮人間の慣れの果てに過ぎない私たち人間にとって正真正銘の怪物は真相と呼ばれる始まりの吸血鬼彼女にとってあなたは協力者である前に血液に過ぎません。Yeah, it's like, you know, a, a real addiction. Even, even if you kind of, you know, quote unquote, beat it, the urge is still there and will always be there. And, you know, true, I mean,、uh, dead apostles are crack babies, I guess. Kangaeta Kotoga Nai, Toa Ivasemasem. Fucking fiending from a hit, you know, of no fault of their own. Oh, Motonia Taru. Hajime Kara Kuketsuki that the Sonsai Gairukoto. Hono, say me to stay no Ketoju, a Kotona Kuketsu. Sin Ningen no Chinate Hitsio Nak. Stotach to Doto. Ye, so they join no Cho et no Yoko Motsumono Tach. Kanojo a son of Shinso to Yobaru Ichizok no Ozok Nandes. 彼らには身分階級がありませんから。王族というのは正しくはありません。Yeah, assumed it's more of like pedigree. Yeah, you know, the pure, pure breeding, so to say. Direct line from the, from the origin. I'm a little taken aback. That was quite the revelation. Since she'll do or say anything completely devoid of common sense, I jokingly call her a princess. But I never did actually imagine she'd be one. Damn. Not even a children's book would include a princess this stupidly cheerful and reckless. いいですか神祖と呼ばれる吸血種には、使徒たちよりはるかに業の深い吸血衝動がある。うんうん。神祖たちはもともと人間の血がなくても生存できる。けれど、その誕生にどんな間違いが起こったのか。Yeah, why did, why, why, why did you know Gaia do it like that? Well, I guess because if you look in the grand scheme of things, Gaia doesn't really like humanity that much. Well, I guess because if you look in the grand scheme of things, Gaia doesn't really like humanity that much. Well, I guess because if you look in the grand scheme of things, ゲインは生命体としてのスケールの違いとも彼らが血液を魂として捉えていると それを望まなくと思い出した。人は自分の血を送ることで人間を仲間にするんだっけ。逆に真相ってやつはただ血を吸うだけで人間を侵すってことですか。うん。え、そして問題は彼らの吸血衝動には理由がないということです。あ、理
happens if an external force causes their powers to diminish. Say, if someone inflicted a heavy wound, they had to extend a great deal of their power to recover. But would, uh, what if they were killed to such a degree that reviving took nearly all the energy they had? Let's assume Arcuid has 10 units of energy. And let's say she used 7 of those 10 units to hold back her urges at all times. If she were to lose 5 of them, that would leave her with just 5 units to hold back 7 units worth of desire. That's not enough. What would she take in to make up for that deficit? Uh, the that, that less deficit? Hold on, I'm, I'm losing my mind. Sorry, sorry, she could. No, 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 no. no. Oh, oh, it's not a log again. There we go. Thanks. Deficit. There we go. I couldn't, I couldn't, like, swip, switch. Oh, God, I can't even speak straight now. The, the, I couldn't switch the, the C and the F in my brain after I fucked it up once. あとは落ちていくだけです。一度血の味を知った神祖は、その衝動による痛みも倍化すると聞きます。結果として、もう二度と吸血衝動を起こらえることができなくなる。神祖は極めて優れた種ですが、吸血衝動を抑えなくては
you know, we were playing, play, playing that、uh, Gattaca movie, you know, about the, the whole society that's based on genetics and, you know, the, the human genome. They, everyone at birth are able to print out the whole thing and look at it and be like, Mm, says according to your genes, you're susceptible to violence, so clearly you're an unfit member of society, even if you've never actually done anything. But the, the whole thing is, you know, the, the spoilers for a 30 year old movie. You know, the guy has a pre existing, you know, like a 95% chance of a heart condition, but he doesn't actually have it. And, you know, He, he wants to be an astronaut, but society won't let him because he, he might. Because his, his genes, man, his. The, the, the core of his being. You know, there's the possibility of it. And they hold him back until he does because society. It's been a long time since I watched the movie, actually. Since. My、oh、God, when did I watch it? I think the last time I watched it was in. God, must have been like 2011, 2012, because it was sophomore biology.、Hmm. All right.、Uh, I kind of had a thing going there, but then I lost it, and I don't know how to tie it up, so we're just going to move on. You know what I was getting at. カノジョが誕生したのは12世紀と言われています。いくら実際の活動時間が数年に満たないと言っても、彼女の存在時間そのものは変わらない。いや、もう未来のない命なんです。First time ever. It's not my anemia making me feel lightheaded. The stranger's words struck me with such force that I can hardly see straight. What the hell? So, this entire time, Arco was out here hunting vampires, even though she knew she was doomed? That doesn't make any sense. It can't be true. Senpai no Hanashua, Sujiga Torana, Tatesa. もう自分がダメだって分かっているやつが俺たちのためなんかに吸血鬼を退治しに来るわけじゃない。Like、彼女が吸血鬼を処理するのは私たちのためではありません。Mm-hmm. そ100割ってそんなの誰が決めたんだ、uh, quite, quite you know, you know, you know, 彼女以外の神祖たちでしょうね彼女が生まれた12世紀は最も落ちた神祖がはびこった時代です神祖たちは落ちた神祖もその神祖がいたずらに増やしていく使徒も放ってはおけなかった、mm-hmm. You know, the true ancestor Reagan was spreading fucking dead apostle crack into the inner cities その手段としてただ殺すためだけのそれ以外のことを何も必要としない純粋な神祖を誕生させ処刑役にしたそれがアルクエイドという神祖なんです彼女はミサイルみたいなものでひとたび城から放たれれば最後、yeah, she, she 標的になった吸血鬼が確実に滅び去ったという話です that, that video, it does make sense if you understand the concept of like how inertial navigation units work and、uh... It's, it's, it's a good video. We had to watch it in, in class back when I was learning, you know, avionic stuff. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Moving on. I like it. That's all I'm saying. I like the AI voice. There's, there's one where it's reading the, the, the in Navy SEAL fucking copy pasta. It's, it's a good one. Thump. Another wave of dizziness. Stop. Please stop talking about her like that. She can bleed. She knows pain. She feels pain. And still, she decided to help all of us. She's a kind, soft hearted person. Quit describing her like she's some kind of weapon. Yeah, Heikinan, this year. 
もともと彼女はそういった意味合いでのみ存在を許されていた。でこの町に来てからの彼女はどうかしていたんでしょうね。あんなに話をする彼女を見たのは初めてです。Quite literally, probably broke something in their head. Motomoto Kanojua Kotoba or Kuchini Sirukoto Sai Nakatano Deska. Huh? Are we talking about the same Arkwood here? She's a fucking chatterbox. The one that never knows when to shut up? That the Kanojua Yobun Nakoto was Shina in this Mukashkara. Mo Nambekne Mo Mukashkara Kanojua Soya Teki Tekita. My vision clouds over as the beating of my heart echoes in my ears. Where is this? I see something I shouldn't know. Memory that I'm not supposed to have. No, it looks cool. A paradise lost in the mountains. A field composed of dawn in an image of the inner sea. At the center of this castle lies a courtyard. Amidst a sea of white flowers stands a lone woman, eyes closed, adrift in a dream. Thanks, thanks, Roa, for letting us tap into your fucking soul to get good background imagery for our, for our big dramatic scenes. Appreciate it. You should really、uh, put a password on your、uh, unsecure, you know, soul Wi Fi. There's no one else. No one to talk to. No one to come across. Yeah, all chained up dramatic like. It, it looks really cool. It'd be like really, really cool for like, you know, page layout in a manga or something. She has nothing. Not the simple joy of meeting someone's gaze, not the fulfillment of conversing with another. From the start, she was never given any choice in the matter. Yeah, there we go. うん。あまりに兄弟すぎる能力が災いして。彼女は心臓の間でも疎まれてしまった。姫と称えていながら誰も彼女には近寄らなかった。城を与えられていながら彼女の世界は薄暗い地下室だけだ。だから。Yep, once you're done using it, you'll lock it back up in the safe. Because it's dangerous to just leave one lying around. パンを焼く機能も洗濯物を洗ってくれる機能も不要です。そんな余分なものを付属させるならもっと平気らしい機能を付属させるでしょ。I was always taught to never allow myself any excess. Her tone was almost sing song. That explains why her eyes felt so hollow when she said she could rely on only herself. She's never needed anyone. Not that anyone was ever there. She might not have even、uh, she might not even have realized it. Maybe 
maybe that was once the case. But every single time I saw her, she seemed so cheerful. Always laughing and smiling over the most trivial things. So I just assumed she must have always been like that. What a cruel assumption to make. All along, that girl was actually... Was I really right before, when all of this has been so fun? Never imagined that I could be so happy just being alive. Back then, I couldn't understand what she was going on about. Yet, in that Twilight classroom, she tried to work through her insecurities with me, her voice hardly above a whisper. うん。私たちより知り得ていない。あ、いや、because just talking is plenty of fun for me. そして落ちた真相を全て処断した後、彼女が城から出ることはなくなりました。一応の目的が済んだだけですから、真相たちも彼女に的な教育を施そうとしたのでしょうね。けれど、彼女は自由にはなれなかった。Oops. I see. Her entire life, she'd been raised to kill vampires, so she dutifully fulfilled her orders until no more remained. Until only she was left. もう誰もいなくなった。真相たちの城の玉座。城壁から伸びた線の鎖に繋がれて、ロアという吸血鬼が転生するたびに眠りから覚めてわずかな間だけ活動する。She lived in such a fixed, preordained world, a world where she never got to speak a single word. And Ark seems like the kind of person to talk in her sleep. I suppose, you know, when she's up, up in there all chained up, it's more like suspended animation than it is really sleep. Kanojo got it wrong. That isn't what makes her happy. Yeah, she likes shitty movies and hamburgers. Well, not not really. She didn't really like those hamburgers. They kind of sucked. But she liked the new experience of having them. How didn't I pick up on this before? She always spoke so cheerfully and smiled so radiantly. If only I looked more closely, I would have noticed. would have seen just how lonely she'd been up until now. The fun of talking nonsense with someone until you lose all sense of time. The satisfaction you get from spending an entire day doing nothing, which most people take for granted. It's the little things in life, the trivial, everyday moments, that make her truly happy. <laughs> what the fuck is that noise? No, it's, it's birds. There's this little flock of, like, I don't know what they are, little starlings or something, hanging around my house in my bushes. But they keep, like, landing on my windows and, I don't know, using my window frames to do something. But it's just making rattling sounds all, all around me, because I'm, I'm in a little sunroom. And I hear one particularly well, because it's, it's on the window where my window AC unit is, so it's just able to travel in really easily. And I go outside to shoo them away, and then they come back as soon as I get back inside. It's like, oh, Jesus Christ. Making me paranoid. The worst thing is, I don't think she even realizes what a ridiculous and sad life she's been living. 
can't accept that this is what her life was like. Just far too unfair. Like some cruel joke. Back then, I barely scraped together half an answer. And for the rest of my life, I might find myself pondering the same question. But at the very least, I've figured out what I want to do right now. She doesn't need to find joy from the mundane things in life. All I have to do is make her see that happiness is only a hand's grasp away. Then I'm sure she'd... Sorry, uh, the, the brooding kicked back in. The unfamiliar third year shakes me from my thoughts. This is Shiki's tone. Uh, this is Shiki Tono's reality now. Don't know really why there's a comma there for now, but okay. And though it took me far too long to get here, I finally managed to clear my head. Um, a little on and off. Yeah. Just kind of disassociating there a little bit. The girl sighs and nods with a hint of understanding. えっと、つまりですね。彼女はもういいですよ。アルクエドが何をしていようが、どんなにめちゃくちゃな奴だろうが、もうどうでもいいんです。Yeah, I like to argue with that has fun more than you know the what she's made to do. So. そもそも。あいつを殺したのは俺なんだし。俺はちゃんと自分のしでかしたことの責任を倍にして返さないと。That's the only thing I want to do right now. Don't want her to be alone anymore. そうですか。ですが、それは本当にあなたが負うべき責任なんですか? Well, who else? To be honest, it isn't on me, no matter how much I might protest otherwise. I understand why this girl is telling me I should remain impartial. Am I really fighting Arguid's enemy to save the city? It sounds so nice when I put it like that, but I know that isn't the truth. What I'm actually doing is killing a complete stranger in Arguid's behalf. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to give your girl the ick, so let's uh, put that guy down. I shift my gaze up. In front of me are the bouquets of flowers left as offerings to the dead. When I look behind me, the city looks as it always has, alive and well. Ah. A wave of dizziness sweeps over me. It's all so bright. Everything I couldn't save, and everything she risked her life to protect. A place of happiness that should be cherished and safeguarded above all else. I'm so pathetic. でも、俺にはそういうものと同じぐらい。いや、それ以上にあいつのことが大切なんだ。あいつが人間なんて気にしない吸血鬼だって言うのなら、俺は吸血鬼なんて気にしない殺人鬼でいい。Okay, just don't let a third party hear that. They might, you know, call the cops on you. I know that's a terrible thing for someone to boldly proclaim. I'd be no different from Vlavaroa, a disgrace to humanity. But if it will let me stay with Arcuid, I'll do it. Yeah, just don't don't go full edge mode and rename yourself DEATH in all caps. You know, like a certain fucking loser would, you know. ここまで行っても無駄な人とは思いませんでした. In a certain manga. もう仕訳ありません。頑固なのは妹譲りらしくて。妹さんね。まあ、いいですけど。Yep, uh, if that's the case, guess we can't do anything about it. せっかくですから、おまけの忠告です。一度吸血衝動を抑えられなかった真相は立ち直れない。<laughs> nice. That's just what I'm looking for in a woman. I don't doubt that she fully be uh, that she believes full heartedly in what she's saying. But what I know about Arguid is just as true. 
ったってあいつはまだ血を吸ってないんだから Maybe we should clear up that misconception. いいえノエルが止めていなければあなたは吸われていました違うだって止まったんだあいつは大丈夫だったんだよ That's right Arker would have stopped herself just in time つける薬がありませんね Nope そろそろ飛行機の時間ですので失礼しますうるさい上司が来て左遷されてしまったので I mean, yeah, just look over there. You fucked up real bad. She walks past me. In the end, we never made eye contact. Nor did she mention her name. Without another word, she passes me by. Ah, but one thing. I have a question for you. Why did you remember my senpai? I may not remember her name anymore. But I definitely remember her. そんなの単に消し忘れただけですよ。Mm-hmm, just a slip in the mind. それもこれでおしまいですけどね。The flowers sway gently in the breeze. When I turn to look, I see the back of someone who was once my upperclassman, but I remember neither her face nor her name. Her footsteps fade into the distance. With one last bow before the rubble, I head back to where I'm supposed to be. Thanks, CL Sensei. You really saved us. I make my way to the mansion. I decided not to drop by Arkwood's apartment. There's no way she'd even be there anyway. Besides, I have other things to attend to. I'll go looking for Arkwood later. Yeah, those birds are making a lot of fucking noise out there. お帰りなさいませ、指揮様。Isui greets me upon my return. Tadaima. It's more arigato, Isui. I express my sincere gratitude. Isui's probably been waiting on me every single day. I've been running so ragged that I never paused to consider the problems I've caused for her. So, I wanted to come home before sundown at least once to allow her to properly carry out her duties. What a nice, peaceful, familial life. After eating dinner with Akia, I head for my room. At least for tonight, I play the part of the perfect brother. I even managed to hold a decent conversation with Akia and Kohaku. Uh, compared to usual, anyway. As soon as I get back to my room, I gather up my things. There isn't much, mostly school supplies, really. My knife, which I've grown rather fond of, is already safely tucked away in my pocket, so that only leaves my smartphone and the white ribbon. <laughs> After giving my room a quick clean, I take a deep breath. I didn't think I'd be saying goodbye to a room twice in such a short span of time. Okay, I fully intend to return, but I'm covering my bases. It doesn't hurt to show my gratitude now, just in case this is a one way trip. I turn off the lights. The clock reads half past nine. It's the perfect time for me to leave the mansion. I should probably go and get, like,、uh, Makihisa's, you know, lever action shotgun. That, uh, That he used in Kagetsu Toya to shoot、uh, 
cat Arcuid. Not not Necro Arc, you know, a black cat suit Arcuid when she was hopping in the trees in the garden. It's a little before 10 when I arrive at the park. There's not a single soul to be found. Taking a seat on the bench, I count the ticking of the clock when I wait for Arcuid. For a moment, I consider roaming the city in search of her again. But that would be an exercise in futility. If she wants to avoid me, I won't find her, let alone catch her. Mm-hmm, she's a creature of habit, after all. We didn't make a promise, after all. And we'd meet here. There's still time to fulfill that promise tonight. I won't fail to keep my word again. And if Arcuid cares enough too, then she'll be here. Having faith and waiting for her is the best I can do right now. Time passes. The hands on the clock steadily carve away the hours. Ugh, hours. The weight is suffocating. My body can't stand even another second. What am I doing? Sitting here like some lawn ornament? I should be out there looking for her. In stark contrast to my body, my mind remains calm. I look up at the night sky and the brilliant moon. It's awfully quiet. As if the world is composed solely of me and her. And those crickets in the bushes over there. If I can wait under these circumstances, nothing will deter me. I'll stay as long as it takes. I'll happily suffocate if necessary. The moon was so bright before, but now its gentle glow is fading. There's only three hours left till dawn. Once the sun rises, it'll all be over. It would mean that the knight's Arcuid... I... Uh, huh? Words? It would mean that the knight's Arcuid and I spent happily hunting down vampires are behind us for good. Yeah, I'm waiting for you in our special place. Uh, si silent Bark. Not that I can do anything about that now. <sighs> A pitiful sigh escapes my lips. I'm not sure if I should laugh or just wallow in despair. Either way, there's not much else I can do. That's when I spot a sliver of white in the shadows. She must believe she's hidden, but she's tragically unsuited for stealth. Oi, it's already 3 o'clock. I'm waiting for you to I call out for my spot on the bench. <laughs> A surprised gasp betrays her cover. Yeah, stark white isn't the best uh, camouflage to wear in an urban setting in fall. Arcuid reveals herself a few seconds later. She's like a startled rabbit in a snowy field. I'm shouting. Ugh. Arguid doesn't say a word. She won't meet my eyes or get any closer either. Arcuido. I say her name, but she doesn't acknowledge me. Well, then just talk to yourself. It's a struggle to find the words. Everything I thought of earlier vanished the second I saw her. Ah, shit. What can I say to even get at her smiling again? I'm scared that anything I tell her will only make her more sad. Time feels like it's slowing down, stretching into eternity. Yet the hands of a clock would say hardly a moment has passed. When Arkwood looks up, she flinches, like she were looking down a bright light. Her voice trembles a little here and there, 
Well, she seems more like your cheerful self from before. Good start, good start. Taking a conciliatory mood. それとこれとは別問題だろう。ここで待ち合わせるのが俺たちの約束だ。一緒に吸血鬼を倒してくれるんだろう。So please, stop looking at me like that. If you don't, I won't be able to refrain from grabbing you with everything I've got. 信じられない。まだそんなこと言ってるの? あ、いや、いつリフォン。アルクエイドとの約束は破らないって言っただろ。今夜はまだ。お前の手助けをしていない。いや、もうそんなのはいいの。式は一人で帰って。ドアのことなら私が何とかしてみせるから。いや、but Arcuid, it's current year. You know, these things are fine now. わたしは式に助けてもらうしかくなんてなかった。協力なんて求めてはいけなかった。そんなことにも気づかないままで。わたしは、あと少しであなたを台無しにしてしまうところだった。だから。That was just a scream of excitement. It's fine, she mutters under her breath. I fight back the urge to yell at her. That ship sailed a long time ago. I knew what I was in for the second I told her I'd help out. I knew. And I still promised to help. So, I refuse to let it end like this. Arcuedo. ここでのことなら気にする必要はないだろ。お前は体が弱ってて、ただ疲れていただけなんだ。俺はバカだからさ。お前の嘘に気づいてやれなかった。お前を苦しめてたのは体の傷なんかじゃなくて、吸血症状
I'm not sure if she's lying to herself or putting on a brave face. Who does she think she's fooling with that miserable expression? I'm at my limit. I'd jump up from the bench and yell at her. Your hands are too close, Arkwood. Get him out further in front. You know, that's a terrible guard. ああ、気に食わなければ惑星級でも銀河級でも何でもつけ足してやる。ふざけやがって。何が自分だけで敵を追ってればよかっただ。一人じゃ無理だから。一人じゃできないことがあるって気づいたから。俺に手を貸せって
いつまでも一人きりは寂しいだろう。アキウェイ doesn't answer。But I noticed the slightest tremor in her shoulders。町のことは心配しないで。私は絶対にロアを殺す。相打ちになっても必ず仕留める。だから式はもういいの。この町はすぐに元の形に戻って心配するようなことはなくなるから。Though I can't see her face, her voice still lacks her usual cheer. I can't stand it anymore. I've tried to be mature about this, but even I have my limits. バカ俺が心配してんのはそんなことじゃない。I close in an arcuate. She looks like she might run away at any moment, so I place my hands on her shoulder and spin her around before she can find the chance. She... Yeah, yeah, and this is this one you, you, you copied on her, you know, the, the little monument th thing right. Pavilions right there, you know, perfect place. そんなご体操な理由なんて本当はなかったんだ。Yeah, way too grandiose for a guy like Shiki. It's the first time I'm admitting it out loud. All the cards are on the table. And it's the truth, plain and simple. 単純に。お前が好きだから。Oh. お前の力になりたかったから。協力するって言ったんだ。それを今さら。なかったことになって。Oh, fucking took you long enough. I say it as it is, and throw my arms around her trembling body. I don't sense any resistance in her voice, but she's stunned, frozen in my embrace. The gentle brush of her breath makes my throat seize up. Her voice caresses my ears in a way that makes my heart leap. I send a longing glance her way, an illicit confession of a desire best unsaid. Yeah, just, you know, pretend that thing in the alleyway didn't happen. We can, we can, like, start over from right here. Oh. My arms are wrapped firmly around her, our chests pressed together. I feel the drumming of her heart. Oh, this is a nice remix. This is our first time hearing it? それでもいい。今アルクエイドを愛してるなら、それが当の式の真実だ。ナイスナイスナイス、グッドフライ、グッドフライ、キープアッププレッシャー、ゲットコーナートラップ。それとも、俺のこと、嫌いか。ナイスナイス、レイドトラップ。Thump。The sound of my heart thumping, then freezing with trepidation。ダメ。その質問には、答えられない。My heart stops for just a second. But then, as if sensing my anguish, her arms coil around me. She's gentle at first. Then she grips me tighter and tighter. She squeezes me with both arms, holding me just as desperately as I hold her. The embrace lasts only a moment. I'm not sure who broke away first. I think we both pulled away at the same time so that we might look each other. Uh, th so that we might look at each other again. Arkewood's eyes are downcast, her cheeks tinted a deep red. A wave of relief rushes through my veins. She's here, with me. There's no way we'll be torn apart again. Yeah, I gotta get a little freaky there. Some corn had talked those things through ahead of time. 
もう会えないと思ってたんだ Her hair sways gently. She raises her head as if to say something, but then lowers it again after meeting my eye. Her cheeks are even redder than before. Her voice trails off weakly.、Oh. But I can't forget about your taste. She's been so concerned about me avoiding what happened in the alley. She's been so concerned about me, she's avoiding what happened in the alley. Okay, thought I read that wrong, but no. And here I am, still being inconsiderate. I can't be serious. Can't make that face and ask me to forget. If anything, I'll never forget this moment. It must be the devil to ask that. Never mind a vampire. I'm not sure. 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 Maybe it's a good thing she doesn't have a cell phone so that way you can't just stare at the, at the chat lock and be like, man, she's left me on red and I, I don't know what to say. And it's like, oh, geez. That makes anxiety even worse. Yeah, but you know, this time with you being into it, not, not, not like last time. Last time was a little, you know, even, even if you weren't into it, like a little, it was just, it wasn't like. It, was, it wasn't the time, you know? Arkwood looks away. I can barely face her myself, especially after blurting out all that. Still, it was the truth. It wasn't her mystic eyes that enthralled me. Just seeing her drives me crazy, even now. She doesn't respond. Both of us are waiting for the other to break the silence. <laughs> Her voice is a little shaky. She confesses with reddened cheeks and a hint of embarrassment in her voice. <laughs> and last, she meets my eyes. <gasps> Whoops. Got up in the moments, I ended up hugging her real hard again. But who can blame me? If I had the wherewithal to hold back after seeing her make that face, I might as well stop calling myself a sentient being. Though I will admit it was a little abrupt. Yeah, I gotta work on the timing there a little bit, bud. I remind myself to restrain the feral beast within. Narka would giggle softly against my chest. She wraps her arms around my back again, comfortably resting her weight against me. Her arms give me a gentle squeeze. The sensation is enough to make me melt. Yeah. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm working on it. I shouldn't say it was a bad thing. No, 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 I'm not squeezing your guts out of mine in, like, in like a bad way. 
いろんな感情が溢れてきて体がポワッとして方が自分のものじゃないみたいナイスナイスナイス自分ねえ四季なら私がどんな顔をしているかわかるかな、yeah. probably, probably a mushy one. <笑>無茶言うな抱き合ったまま顔を見られるもんか、well, let's turn into a messy one. I adjust my grip slightly. Just enough to hold her tight. Demo. Kito, n a j i k a s t a y t o m o Oh, no, you gotta stay cool and composed, dude. Oga Bakamita, you don't meet Panasta. Our bodies pressed together, we share a laugh. Joy far stronger than simple desire floods my chilled body with warmth. She whispers into my ear. Gentle, almost sleepy sound. Woo! She nuzzles her face into my shoulder. There's only one hour left till dawn. When morning comes, our time together will be up. I know how she feels. I can't stand to be apart from her either. And then we tastefully fade to black. Arkwood's room hasn't changed a bit. We're the ones who've changed. I can just make out Arkwood moving behind me. My emotions are running wild. My body's urging me to turn around and pull her into my arms again. My thoughts, on the other hand, are surprisingly calm. Don't understand it very well. Maybe love is just that. A strange balance between sanity and insanity. Arcuedo. I'm about to turn and face her. But just before I do, I feel the light touch of her fingers against my back. Yeah, you sound like the kind of girl that would want the lights off. Her voice is calm. Her palm lies flat against my back, unmoving, as if she were checking something. ねえ、四季。私が初めてあなたを待っていた時のこと、覚えてる覚えてるよ。Yeah, it was a horrifically traumatizing memory. ニコニコ顔で待ち伏せてたんだ。忘れられるわけないだろう。うん。あの時ね、私、あなたのことがすごく憎かった。Yeah, no, that's fair. That's understandable. Despite the subject matter, her voice is gentle and sweet. Is this really good pillow talk? I mean, I guess there's... Now is as good as any time. きっとこれが最後のチャンスだって覚悟してロアを追いかけてようやく見つけたと思った時に見ず知らずの誰かに殺されて何もかも壊されてしまったあの時の私にはただ憎しみしかなかったそうして自分を殺した誰かを探し出してあなたが来るのをね早く早く来なさい、mm-hmm. 私に気がついた瞬間に寸分たがわず同じ目に合わせてあげるからって本当にあなたのことが憎かった憎くて憎くて胸が張り裂けそうになるくらいずっと待ち続けていた Fingers clutch the back of my shirt. あるけど。でもね。私をあんな風に殺した相手なんて今までいなかった。それにあんな風に誰かを強く思うなんてこと今までなかった。初めはただ憎しみしかなかった。けどあなたはどんな人間なのかなって思った時狂って反転しちゃ
あんなにも狂おしく誰かを思ってあなたを今か今かと待ち続けた時の気持ちはすごく幸せだった本当は今すぐにでも会いに行きたいけど我慢してあなたがやってくるのを待っていて。Yeah, it gave you some time to, you know, marinate your thoughts a little bit instead of just, you know, instantly turning them to hamburger meat. Ano jikan wa tanoshikatta yo. Sugoku doki doki shite. Shiki ga donna hito nan daro te. Katte ni sozo shita li mashita. Arkwood pulls her hand away. Omoeba ne. Sono doki kara watashi wa dare ka o hitsuyo to shite shimatte. 一人の自分を物足りなく感じてしまった四季は私のことを好きだって言ってくれたけど私は四季に会う前から、yeah, あなた自身に恋をしてたんだなって I spin around and pull her into my arms. <laughs> Our lips meet. Not sure which one of us sought out the other first, but it's a tender embrace. Our lips are joined, and we're trying to sense each other's very being. Which one of you is going to go for tongue first? I cease breathing as I drink her in. Your lips are soft beyond imagination. It's hard to fathom that we're connected like this. The thought alone is enough to send my mind into meltdown. Our actual touch is nothing but warm and inviting. She trembles ever so slightly, yet she doesn't seem the least bit afraid. No, it's okay, I get the trembles too. With her closed eyes and cherry red lips, she's the epitome of beauty. The kiss is warm enough to take my breath away. I was already head over heels for her. Never imagined that one kiss could make me love her so much more than I already did. It like actively fucking changes your brain chemistry. It's it's just biology. Love is just chemicals in the brain, dude. We slowly pull our arms, still carefully wrapped around each other. So slowly part our arms. You know, like why are you guys fucking arm wrestling over here? Our eyes peer into each other's depths. Her brilliant crimson eyes peer up at me. Wisps of golden hair trace her movements. You know, we can, you know, do another and so you can get a feel for it. Sure enough, beats loud enough for me to hear. And the sound is only matched by my own. でも、ちょっと困っちゃった。私、いいのかなって。いいのかなって何が？うん。だってね、四季。え、え、no my cheeks go red. She says it with a shy, teasing giggle. But... Yeah, making out with your killer? Yeah, that's not any less weird, bud. Just like that, it's checkmate. Totally defeated. I forget about everything. I even forget who I am. All that matters is that the two of us, falling into the bed in a tight embrace, I reach for her hair. Her bare flesh. Let her strain myself just in time. Yeah, it's a little early for hair pulling, bud. You gotta ease into it. Oh, man. I'm on the verge of hyperventilation. Can't make that mistake again. No matter how much I want her, I can't let my own selfish desires take control. Arkwood looks up from underneath me. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, but but take your jeans off first. It's kind of weird to do it with your jeans on. Her eyes glimmer in adoration and joy, seeming to offset any nerves uh, she might be feeling. 
my breath meets hers. Our flesh melds together as one. Like, like snails, like mollusks. Mucous membranes intertwined. Arousal and passion lay bare body and soul. As though we're assuring ourselves of the affection in our hearts, we seek out each other, hungrily at times, gently at others. Yeah, I've got to keep it PG-13. Damn, like, fuck, four, the, four in the morning? Like, I'd be tired. It's like... <sighs> Like all right, one one and we're done. Like I gotta I gotta get some sleep. <sighs> With a deep breath, I collapse into the bed sheets. Did did you at least like put down a towel, or are you just like lying in it right now? You know. Did does she at least have like a a mattress cover? You know, so that way it's it's not just staining the mattress. You you can get a get a, like a special. Special lining to, you know, to cover the mattress that goes under the sheets to stop stop that from happening. I you, I recommend it. Save the mattress, even even if you know, <clears throat> from uh from from other things, just just from like sweat alone seeping through. You don't want to have it be like, oh, you can see the body outline from where I was lying for years on end. Just keep keep things clean. Is all I'm saying. For someone who never dreams, this is what I might imagine. This is what I imagine it must be like. Arkwood lies asleep next to me. Her fingers are still laced with mine, clutching my hand with a content look on her face. I feel a little bashful thinking about what we've just done. But having made love to her, I can't say I have a single regret. Except maybe I wish I had kept it together. If I had been more in control of everything, I could have savored the warmth of her skin and the flush of her face. No, no, that's fine. You guys can be like into your whole predator prey thing. Like, that's that's a known thing. It's not that freaky. Not sure if I'll be able to keep a cool head around Arkwood in the future. Even now, I was so enraptured by her, I can barely remember what we did. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Can't even put it in text or on flashbacks on screen of it at all. It's almost like, whew, it's better for the rating this way. All I can remember is that it felt impossibly good. So good, it left me exhausted beyond belief. I don't think I could get up from the bed if I tried. Yeah, that's how it goes. Just need a cigarette now. Fighting back a yawn, I watch over Arkewood's sweet visage. I really love her. And I think she actually reciprocated my one-sided feelings. Our forms of love might be different, but at the very least, I know Arkewood needs me too. That alone is enough to fill me with joy. Not just because I'm wanted, but because Arkewood, who has always been alone, decided she needed me. Soda. Yeah, now you can invite her to the house and introduce her for real, instead of just being that weird, weird girl who showed up on your doorstep. My consciousness starts to fade. Well, looks like I've just about reached my limit. I settle into the bed sheets, take a deep breath, and allow myself to drift into a deep, peaceful sleep. At some point while I'm sleeping, I dream that Arkewood wakes up before me. Uh, she fidgets quietly, as if planning some clandestine mischief. I ask her what she's doing. And less awake, just kind of you know riding that line. Uh, not so much awake as if half asleep. Thanks to you, my body isn't really responding to my brain right now. Yeah, he's just sitting there as like that fucking, uh, <laughs> that paper mache alien they said they found, you know, looking like that in the bedsheets with the glasses on. 
Arkwood giggles girlishly. It's a bit strange that I can see her when my eyelids closed, but she looks happy, so I don't linger on the details. Nasty. Oh, what's up? I ask her again. I'm sure she's tired too. It'd be better to rest till night. Uh, become an edgy loser, loser called death, in all caps. You know, with spaces in between the letters, too. Oh, what a weird thing to ask. It's not like it'll happen anyway. She's terrified of drinking blood. Yeah, we're playing the Would You Still Love Me If I Was a Horror game. Uh, stop that. It won't happen. Besides, I already told you that I don't like what ifs. So, Right. I think he said something like that before. うん。だから、四季がもっとひどいやつだったら、私はどうしてたかなって。Art What's happening? Is she crying? それじゃ、Faintly, I can make out the click of the door. I'm still asleep. But the sound echoes through the haze. morning and with that ladies and gentlemen with the rising of the sun that is where we're going to end it here for today because otherwise we're kind of getting into the the big climax finale part and that'll uh probably keep us going for a really long time and i don't want the video to drag out too too long i expect maybe who knows maybe even one more maybe two but we're definitely in the end game now. So, uh, yeah. With that, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and check out the Discord in the comments down below. And I will catch you guys all later for potentially either the, the penultimate or uh, maybe even finale of Arcuit's Route and Tsukihime Remake. Catch you guys all later. Bye-bye now. Mwah.